Hello and welcome fifth grade friends, family, and students. This is Ms. Fields here and I am joining you this evening for another episode of Math Toolbox. So our fourth episode today will be focusing on a concept that we've been reviewing and practicing all week called 10 times as much as and 1 tenth of with whole numbers. So with this concept, fifth graders have learned how to multiply numbers or divide numbers by 10. And we examined exactly what happens to the place value of the digits in numbers when this occurs. So with our first concept of 10 times as much as, it states that when you multiply a number by 10, all of the digits move one place value to the left. That being said, the relationship between the digit 7 and the hundreds place becomes 10 times greater than the digit of the 7 in the tens place. So when you multiply a number by 10, each digit within the number that's being multiplied, the factor, becomes 10 times greater in value. And the way that we describe that relationship between the product and the factor is by stating a number, which would be the product, is 10 times as much as the factor, which would be 77, the number being multiplied by 10. In this instance of multiplying 77 by 10, we would be able to state that the product 770 is 10 times as much as the factor, 77. Let's put this into an example. So using our understanding of 10 times as much as, you can break this down using the place value chart into a few steps. What I do when I'm trying to compare the relationship between the product and the factor, the factor being 67, and the product being the answer to multiplying 67 by 10, is my first step, I put the digits into the place value chart. So I know that 67 is composed of six tens and seven ones. My next step in looking to describe the relationship between the product and the factors would be to write down a blank space where our product will go and writing a sentence. The product is 10 times as much as, and I get that 10 times from right here, the multiplication sign in the 10, 10 times as much as 67, which is our factor that we're multiplying by 10. My next step is that I know that each digit within my factor is going to move to the left. That being said, if I know digits are moving to the left, I know they're increasing in their value by 10 times. The 6 in the 10's place increases to a 6 in the 100's place. The 6 in the 100's place is 10 times greater than the 6 in the 10's place, and the same with the 7 in the 1's place and the 7 in the 10's place. The 7 in the tens place is 10 times greater than the 7 in the ones place. In finishing our description in comparing our product with our factor, we're going to write down 670, which is our product of 67 times 10, is 10 times as much as, or 10 times greater than, 67, which is our factor that we multiplied by 10. Another concept that we learned about this week was the idea of one-tenth of. So really quickly, I want to point out that one-tenth of is a synonym to saying a number divided by 10. They're exactly the same thing. Divided by 10 is the same as one-tenth of. So in our example here, we've got 800 divided by 10. So similar to our previous example of multiplying by 10, when we divide by 10, our first step is to place all of the digits in our place value chart. However, there's one distinct difference. When you divide, the digits are moving one place value to the right because their value is decreasing. And it's decreasing exactly one-tenth of their previous value. You're dividing by 10. So our 8 in the hundreds place is 10 times greater than our 8 in the tens place. But in looking in reverse, 
our eight in the tens place is one tenth of the eight in the hundreds place. Same with our zero in the ones place is one tenth of the value of the zero in the tens place. That being said, we describe our quotient with our dividend, the number being divided, the same way that we do with our 10 times as much as. Our quotient being 80. 80 is one-tenth of the value of 800, which is our dividend up here. Let's put this into context with another example. So as I said before, when you're determining one-tenth of, it's exactly the same as dividing by 10. So if you encounter a problem that shows 9,600 9, divided by 10, you know in your sentence below that you're going to be putting a blank space, that's going to be your quotient, you're going to be writing is one-tenth of, similar or the same as, divided by 10, 9,600, which is your dividend. After you write down your descriptive sentence, you're simply going to plug the numbers into their respective place values. The 9 is in the thousands place, the 6 is in the hundreds place, the 0 is in the tens place, and the 0 is in the ones place. Your next step, because you see your division sign, and you also see a value of 10 as your divisor, you know that you are moving all of these digits one place to the right. And they're moving to the right because the value of the digits are decreasing exactly by one place value, which is one-tenth of. The nine in the hundreds place is one-tenth of the nine in the thousands place. The six in the tens place is one-tenth of the six in the hundreds place, and so on. So from there, you get your quotient, which is located on the bottom part of our place value chart. And we can see here that our quotient, which is 960, is one-tenth of 9,600. That being said, 10 times as much as and one-tenth of are just simply ways that we compare numbers that have been multiplied by 10 or divided by 10. These concepts are going to be revisited when we learn about decimals, and they're great ways for fifth graders to compare numbers and their values on the place value chart. I hope you guys enjoyed our video, and I can't wait to see you guys on Monday.